on track, there were plenty of surprises Friday as the Swedish invasion has begun. How about rookie Felix Rosenquist posting a session's best lap of a minute 1.821 to lead the 24 drivers Friday morning? Not to be outdone, fellow Swedish driver rookie Marcus Eriksson was impressive, posting the third best lap for Schmidt Peterson Motorsport. Sessions can breed cautions. Rosenquist oh, in the inside line. up, but he gets it. Power, oh, power squares him up. You won't go through there too abreast. He's got him. Felix Rosenquist making power. his intentions clear. Down to turn four. Will Power look for an inside line? Pokes his nose out. Oh, Is he going to go through it? No. Almost gets his front wing chopped off by Rosenquist. What a move. What a terrific job by Rosenquist on the brakes in turn one to just keep that tire rolling after a little bit of lockup. That is the sign of an experienced and very talented. Colton Herta, your second IndyCar race. The driver is immediately in front of you at the finishing order. 2016 series champion Simon Pagano. Ahead of him, multiple race winner James Hinchcliffe. I'm looking at a rookie start to your campaign, P8. I'm hoping you're happy, my man. Yeah, yeah, I, I am very happy. Obviously, it, it could have been better. I, I touched the wall out of turn three on the restart, and I, I dropped back from whatever we were in 10th all the way back to like 18. Yeah. So, unfortunately, that that kind of sucked. And uh, but yeah, we had we had really good pace. You know, we had, we had pace to be up there in the top five. Let's talk about that having to move forward again. So you're having to do some of that on track, hopefully a yeah. little bit on pit lane, pit stops and case, such. Yeah. What's that process like though? Because you don't do that in Indy Lights. There's, no. you know, that's not something you've been accustomed to, overcutting, undercutting, and you yeah. name it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's huge. You know, most of the racing you see in IndyCar is, is in the pits and out of the pits and opening laps, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it's, it's tough. You know, obviously a, a big thing to, to adjust to is cold tires and getting up to speed really quick. and learning how to use overtake and when to use it to, to your advantage and obviously not use it up so you have some at the end. Spoke with Felix Rosenquist to start. He looked like he not only did 110 laps but also got in a fist fight. He was just completely worn out. How are you feeling on a 80 degree humid day here in Florida after your race? Oh, what's, pretty worn out. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's, what's complaining for those who might never drive an Indy car? Definitely the hands. That's kind of what you get at these street circuit is is the kick back in the car and the steering wheel always, uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people say the steering wheel is always trying to be ripped out of your hands and, and you know, it's, I was always like, oh, whatever, we'll see. It's, oh man, the thing just wanted to go straight. It did not want to turn, but um, I think we had really good balance. You know, I think I think it, it's a little frustrating for me. I'm happy we've got a top 10 in the debut, but I think we really should have been in the top five. We were so quick. I'm glad you're not happy with any result, nor should you. If you even if you win, you're probably thinking of things you could have done better. Yeah. Let's close on the general performances of these next generation IndyCar drivers like you today. Felix in fourth, you next up in eighth. Behind you, Santino, Jack Harvey behind him. Again, a lot of the, a lot of the guys are gonna be carrying this series in the years to come, making a great statement in round one. Yeah, yeah, I just wish we could have qualified in that spot because, you know, I was, I was so happy to make it into the past six and then... So you would have been the fat, uh, yeah, I mean, that would have been, that would have so been the story. To be knocked out. Um, and, and I think the thing a lot of people didn't know is, like, I obviously blocked Charlie, it was pretty obvious, but, um, you know, that, that, that next lap kind of screwed, it screwed me because I tried to get out of the way, so that next lap wasn't fast, it was actually my second lap on reds, which no one else did that, so... Yeah. Um, Obviously, there was a little bit more time in the bag, so we'll see if we can unleash that in Dakota. So if we're talking frequent flyer miles, 23rd to 9th for Santino Ferrucci. Not your first IndyCar race, got to do a couple last year, but your true proper start to rookie season. This seemed to me like you should be happy. You're sweating, but this is you should be happy, and boy, you're among a bunch of rookies who really made a statement today. Oh yeah, I mean, uh... I'm sweating. My my arms seized up on me. You know, we we drove so hard. I mean, uh, when we came in, we were cycling through the pits, and uh, Mike Mike Cannon, head strategist, head race engineer, was like, "All right, code brown." I'm like, "Oh wait, no, code diarrhea." I was like, "What? Repeat that oh, one more Lord, time." Here we go. I was like, "All right, so that means I need to save an extra two tenths per lap than our worst scenario." Yes. <laughs> and uh, you know, we made it happen. And we were still pretty quick while doing it, and uh, guys had a hell of a stop, and 
we were able to pit and finish the race in the ninth spot. Tell us about that march forward. Uh, obviously, a couple drivers had some adversity, but you don't recover that many positions without doing a lot of passing. No, I mean, to be honest, there's a lot of waiting. I probably only passed one car. We did a lot on pit strategy and using our overtake and undercutting people. You know, that, that was crucial. I mean, when we, when we came out of the pits, we had to have stellar pace. I mean, we couldn't make any mistakes. We had to drive as hard as we could because passing here is it, probably the hardest track I've had to deal with on the IndyCar calendar mm. by far. So, I mean, we we did we made it work with strategy. We undercut a ton of cars. We kept our nose clean at the start of the race, which was super important. And when we cycled out, we cycled out ahead of everybody, and we just stayed there. I am Rahul, James Hinchcliffe, and Ed Jones. I've got to say, Jack Harvey doing a terrific job today, running in sixth place. Sister car with James Hinchcliffe just behind, but Jack Harvey's been leading the charge.